today's mass readings. May 20, 2020. Wednesday. The Wednesday of the sixth week of Easter. First reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 17 verse 15 and 22 to chapter 18 verse 1. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect, you are very religious. For us I walked around looking carefully at your shrines. I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown god. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race, to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions, so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him. Though indeed he is not far from any one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image, fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent, because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all, by raising him from the dead. When they heard about resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them, but some did join him, and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this he left Athens and went to Corinth. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 148 verse 1 to 2 and 11 to 14. Let our response be, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all you His angels. Praise Him, all you His hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too, and maidens, old men and boys, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 16 verse 12 to 15. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears, and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine, and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Before we proceed, it would mean a lot if you hit the like button, 
and subscribe to this channel. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you don't miss out on new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions and reflections on the comment section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's continue with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel Here is Jesus, nearing his own death, and he is pouring out the depth of his love for his followers. He spoke these words at the Last Supper, as he gathered with his disciples, sharing life with them. His words and actions comforted and strengthened them in ways that only the Holy Spirit might help them to understand. If you have had the experience of being with someone you loved as they are close to death, then you will know how significant what they have to say to you will be. Perhaps you will remember their words, how they said them and some of the emotions that you had in that precious time. The love that the God the Father has for Jesus is the love Jesus has for each of us. Can I ask for this grace of knowing and experiencing deep down this tremendous love? The Holy Spirit has come to lead us to the complete truth. This is not a promise to each of us personally, but to the church as a whole. It is important for my personal peace of mind that I trust the church. Despite the terrible things that have happened, Christ is with us always, to the end of the world.